Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets on the uh, Monday, 29th of February 2016. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and uh, certainly uh, visit the educational site www.cfds.education to certainly learn more and be sure to take advantage of this uh, healthy bonus offer. Okay, right, let's try and decipher exactly what's happening here in terms of European markets. Uh, the uh, news flow overnight has been generally negative, given the fact that we've uh, uh, been disappointed from the G20, although that has changed with the Chinese rate cut, and obviously the weaker inflation data out of the Eurozone, which means more QE. Now, the FTSE 100 at this current juncture, as we stand, is currently still trading negative, uh, more or less, uh, especially following Asia. Uh, the Asian markets overnight, Shanghai down 2.8%, the Hang Seng down 1%, and the Nikkei down 1% overnight. We've had weaker economic data out of Japan. Uh, the industrial production data and retail sales certainly came out weaker overnight. Uh, the uh, Aussie data certainly weak as well, weaker inflation data or, or overnight. Although, like I said, the Chinese rate cut has just uh, recently changed that uh, bias. Uh, we've had uh, import inf uh, import prices, weaker import prices and weaker retail sales from, uh, from uh, Germany, okay, which obviously has strengthened the argument for more QE. The other alternative, the consumer credit mortgage applications, more or less overall net net positive. Uh, EU uh, CPI, Italian CPI certainly came in negative, so therefore more QE. Uh, retail sales out of the Eurozone, not bad. Okay, but it came in more or less in line. Or was it Greece? I think, oh, sorry, Greece uh, came in more or less better than expected. GDP came in better than expected as well. Uh, the big number this morning has been the weaker inflation data, CPI data, minus 0.2%, which basically means more QE, and that should be more bullish for European equities, okay? Adding the fact that Chinese rate cut as well, both those uh, factors added together uh, will certainly indicate a bullish move on the uh, price of uh, equities globally, from my perspective, especially given the fact that China has surprised everyone with the, uh, uh, the actual uh, rate cut, I think it by 0.5%. If I'm correct, cuts rates to triple R by 0.5%. So that certainly has surprised everyone, especially given the fact that everybody stated that the G20 was a, uh, a flop, was a failure, uh, failed to produce anything at all. And obviously, we've obviously got a result with this uh, potential Chinese rate cut. Okay, so that's the situation. That's the scenario that we, we currently face. Uh, the US market still will remain bullish from my perspective, given the stronger GDP numbers out on Friday. And that should build a potential base there. Now, given the fact that the markets are... Are all um, dependent upon crude. A Chinese rate cut should certainly help the price of oil. Uh, now, given the fact that we've closed that gap, we did have a we did put in a potential topping tail. Now, the next ten minutes will be on well, ten minutes chart will be crucial um, on the price of oil. We sh we are coming into potential support here where previous resistance equals support. So we should get a pop on this Chinese uh, rate cut news, and that should certainly help the uh, the price of oil. Now, on the four hour chart, you can see we're still trading sideways. And the daily chart, we did put in a topping tail on Friday, but the Chinese rate cut news should certainly yes, change that around. Okay, well, understand. Okay, now the Euro USD as well. Obviously, that's a major, major uh, market sensitive, market moving variable uh, in the Eurozone. We certainly pushed higher as high as 0.0960, then obviously we reversed down to 1.09. The daily chart at the moment, we were holding that Fib 75%. We've broken that Fib 75%, adding the fact that you've got weaker inflation data as well. Therefore, we are looking to potentially uh, move lower on the euro, especially given the fact that the bonds have obviously broken their, uh, obviously, uh, bonds have broken out the resistance. So the next level on the euro USD looks like uh, 1.08 is inevitable given the weaker inflation data okay now bonds as well as bring the chart of the bonds for you just to show you on the daily chart you can clearly see we've got a breakout and that obviously indicates a weaker euro which in turn obviously will help european equities move higher okay right let's bring up the uh, equity markets now okay so the equity markets we've short squeezed we bounced off gap fill uh, we have found turbulence at that 2908 zone I am long euro stocks. I'm looking for that gap fill to close on the back of obviously weaker inflation number, which equals more QE, and the Chinese rate cut, which obviously supports the uh, the actual market itself overall. So um, we are looking for potential gap fill at 2930, although this zone here at 2911 certainly is acting and holding resistance quite well. Okay, and uh, the uh, Chinese certainly have uh, have have actually enacted something that will obviously stimulate the market to a large extent. Okay. 
Right, that's the situation with regards to Euro stocks. Now, bear in mind, the daily chart does have an inverted head and shoulders formation. So Chinese rate cut plus the QE, uh, obviously expectations now with this weaker inflation number should certainly help. The German DAX is still trading weak with our weaker uh, retail sales number. Obviously, we've held gap filled, we've bounced off it. We certainly had the short squeeze post Chinese rate cut, and now it's whether or not we can sustain that move. Okay, we broke out that symmetrical wedge in the 10-minute chart. You have an unfilled gap at uh, 9.5 cents, so watch out for that zone. Okay, uh, you have this diagonal trend line that certainly is causing uh, causing some trouble, um, and certainly is being subservient as well. So gap fill support for now at this uh, region at 9.330 on the german dax okay especially with the euro languishing at the uh, 9.09 level that in itself should help the uh, equity markets move higher okay so certainly keep an eye on that right the daily chart of the german dax this is bringing up a daily in the 60 minute as well 60 minute we are into that 200 ma we are into gap fill support so therefore looking to potentially move higher if obviously we fail to hold here then the next zone below will be gap fill at 9170 which i can't really see occurring given the chinese rate cut okay Daily chart of the German DAX itself. Uh, again, this is certainly a, um, a uh, making a case for an inverted head and shoulders formation. We've closed the gap in the daily now, so all eyes on there. If we break above this uh, bearish channel here, then uh, you are looking at multiple gaps above and uh, quite an impressive thrust tire as well. Okay, all right, the uh, CAC itself now. The French CAC certainly remains bullish out of the lot out of Euro stocks and. The German DAX from my perspective and you are looking at potential gap fill support up here and that's where the market look is looking to potentially go if we keep this diagonal trend line it's quite important okay for potential resistance so 4320 would be the zone that you target on the French cap okay so uh, certainly looking bullish it's held gap fill and certainly bounce and we are consolidating on this pull flag okay daily chart of the French cap curves is bring the daily for you daily chart we held at the top until We've moved lower, close the gap, and uh, now looking to potentially thrust higher again. Okay, especially with QE expected here quite high post the uh, weaker inflation reading. Okay, now the uh, FTSE 100. Let's bring up this uh, index. Now it's still an inside bar on the daily chart, which is pretty impressive. Okay, pretty impressive. The price action thus far, given the Brexit concerns are in the background. The 60-minute chart certainly has held that diagonal trend line, held that horizontal resistance on the daily chart. Currently consolidating whether or not we retest that uh, level up at 6100 is another question we shall certainly see. Okay, going to the 10 minute chart of the FTSE 100, we certainly are making a case for a bull flag to potentially go back to the highs given the Chinese rate cut will be positive for commodities and positive for the FTSE 100 overall. Okay, right. I think that's a market wrap now, folks. I've explained the Bund uh, situation. Also, with regards to the yen, the Chinese rate cut uh, will certainly help the yen. The yen is now into resistance, has a H&S formation, so bear that in mind. And the daily chart certainly remains weak as well. Okay, so you've got a daily chart that's weak. You've got a potential uh, double top there intraday. And overall, given the fact that you've got stronger economic data out of the U.S., you are looking at potentially moving higher. Okay, so the yen certainly is the um, is at the forefront at this juncture, and you are looking at a weaker yen given the fact that you've got a HNS formation, you have gap fill support, and therefore you're looking to potentially move lower, which in turn should help US indices higher. Okay, that certainly is going to be crucial and quite important as well. USDJPY as well, let's discuss that. It's made a base, you can see clearly, and certainly is looking to potentially move higher on a 10 minute chart, 60 minute chart. We did have a topping tail, but we are into potential support. So bear that in mind with regards to the BOJ, which obviously in turn will help the uh, the actual uh, U, uh, the uh, US markets higher as well. Now, just before I finish, just bring up the chart of the NASDAQ. You can see the inverted head and shoulders in the daily chart, given the strong economic data that came out on Friday. Given the Chinese rate cut, given the weaker inflation data out of the Eurozone, which obviously will trigger the QE trade, that certainly is looking to move higher. Now, bring up the charts of the S&P 500. Okay, uh, higher highs, higher lows in the 60-minute chart, so you can't argue for anything else. You have key support at the 1928 to 1930 zone and uh, looking to potentially move higher. The daily chart on the S&P 500 has held previous resistance equal support. And therefore, you are looking to now make space to basically make a move for 1990. Okay, right. I think that's a market wrap, folks. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. And uh, certainly visit the educational site and uh, open an account at CFDs.com. And uh, certainly come and trade with me on the live analysis service. Goodbye now.